Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna show you guys in a quick, quick video how you can install VMware Player on Windows 8. So right now I'm running Windows 8 on a virtual machine itself, but uh, you can use this guide to uh, to learn how to install VMware Player on Windows 7 or Windows 8. So to get started, let me go to the desktop. All right. And um, let's open up Google Chrome. And here, what you want to do is let's go to let's search VM here. I'm sure let's set Google Chrome as default. Okay. Um, now we'll go to VMware.com. I'm not sure this is like my own. So VMware Canada. So from here, what you want to do is um, you want to go to support and downloads, and from here you want to find VMware Player. Uh, let's see. It's VMware. Let's go to all downloads. It's right now it's showing only the paid downloads. And VMware Player is free. Um, and right here you'll see you'll see it. VMware Player is right here. So you let me click that. And uh yep, go ahead and we'll click to download the latest version. You can see it says here VMware Player for Linux. Um and but we want VMware Player for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit. This first one right here. So we'll click download. And you can see the download started down here. We'll let that finish. Um, just a few more seconds. So as you guys can see, this is my uh, this is my Windows 8 installed. It's on a VM, a virtual machine. This is just my first video, just to show you. I just want to make sure you guys have all your tools set up first, and then I'm gonna give. Um, so the first thing you'll need to set up the VMware, uh, the Windows 8 virtual machine is VMware Player. So that's why I'm showing this video uh, to show you guys how you can get a VMware Player installed. Alright, so our download is done. Uh, let me double click that to open it. Um, um, click yes. And uh, I'm oh, sorry, I just had to plug in my headphone there. Okay, and we'll click next here. We'll go next. Check for product updates on startup. Sure, that's not a problem. Next, help improve the employer. You can you can click yes or not. I'll click next. Install the shortcuts on my desktop and program. Yeah, you can accept all those defaults. Click continue, and it'll go ahead and install. This is VMware Player. Keep in mind, guys. Um, VMware Player is the most simplified version of VM VMware. You can get VMware Workstation, which is a better. Like, it, there's much more features, but of course, at the same time, you have to pay. Um, if you go to college or university, maybe you can check. They might be giving it to you for free. But um, that's VMware Workstation. VMware Player is free for anybody to use. It's a little bit simpler and has a little bit less features but it'll be enough for us to install Windows 8 on uh, to install the Windows Windows 8 virtual machine uh, let's just allow that to finish take it down as you guys can see this is Windows 8 there is no start button here and you can have the options here on the right side. There's a few cool, cool features, but I'll show you that in my um, um, first impressions video that I'll be releasing soon. Click finish to finish the installation. And that's it. Now we have VMware Player installed. Uh, double click it. Yep. I accept the license agreements. So okay. And uh, here we go, guys. This is. Oh, this is the notification for workstation version 9 which you have to pay for so we're not going to accept that we'll click remind me later what we want is the actual 
VMware player. So now we have it. This is the full. This is um, completely installed. Everything's ready to go. Um, so uh, stay tuned for my next video where we're gonna actually use VMware player to install a virtual machine of Windows 8, the full version. This is not consumer preview or um, uh, the release released edition. This is the full um, retail version of Windows 8. So um, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.